Hey everybody, I wanted to showcase my road to rank 17. And along the whole road, I won 9 games and lost 2. I lost once against Dwarves. Uh, I really am bad against in the Dwarf matchup, personally. I know that a lot of other people do really well in the matchup. Now, without further ado, let's talk about this match. So my opponent plays a Megan L, and that really disrupts my play. Normally I would play a Smuggler, but... My opponent upset that. Opponent's already getting value from his mangonels. I decide to play Morin, but Morin is not the strongest card here. The Isengroom at least is protected from the mangonel. I get a little bit of I get four points of value from my Morin, which is fine. But he's getting a ton of value from his mangonel. I'm trying to bait him into playing both of his Manganels in his hand, because I have a prediction that he has them. You don't mulligan out the Manganels, you play them. So now that I've lacerated them once, I'm going to lacerate them twice, get rid of them from the board, and now I can play a normal game. Perhaps I should have played the Dragoon here, didn't think about it. Instead I decided to go with the... Uh, Elven Mercenary for a lot of tempo, quickly. Get my Shell and Skags off. Can't play the Dragoon right now. This actually helps me more than it helps him. Since this is a 20 point play. Using uh, Zoltan there. The opponent passes. They probably just have um, two spotters and something else in their hand. Gonna pass. That's like three of his gold cards so far. I don't know what his last gold card is. I'm gonna play my Dragoon first. Now this uh, Ox actually messes me up. Now I have two eight strength Dragoons. So if we assume he has an Igni, cause I, I'm like, that's the only way I lose is if he has a Geralt Igni. So I'm gonna play around that. Just scorch both of his guys. He knows I have scorch in my hand. He can see it. So on to the next game. I wasn't really happy how I played this game, but... I don't showcase enough Northern Realms games in my videos. Probably should have opened up with the Dragoon. But instead I'm going for Tempo. Trying to finish this as quickly as possible. Gonna put Truvial into the mid lane. Gonna lacerate. I'm not really sure why he played that. Uh, it's scaring me. I don't really have any good spells to play. And I don't want to play anything else, so I lacerate again. It's probably dumb to do that. I decide just to pass. I screwed that up, but I should not have won that round. My opponent's just playing worse than I am. Now I have card advantage. Oh, yeah. Gonna open up with the Dragoon like usual. Hawker support is great because he's gonna play a bunch of stuff. He's gonna open up with the Siege support, so that's why it was safe to play the Smuggler second. 
as opposed to immediately with the Dragoon. He gets rid of my Dragoon, which is fine. I'm going to just Scorch. I'm not going to get a better Scorch target. I avoid the Igni just because I set up my points correctly. This is a, not a different way you can play against that same kind of reveal player. Look at that premium more Vran over there. I'm going to open up with the Truvial this time, as opposed to uh, using a Moran. My opponent try plays as if it was a Moran, puts down the Alchemist. Now I don't have a Lacerate in my hand, and I don't want to risk using the Elven Mercenary to possibly not get the Lacerate. So I decided to just go with the uh, Bran and just kill it off that way. Which is one of the reasons why I played the Hawker support. Regardless. Now I could have put these guys in a different lane so that the Sheldon Skaggs could... <laughs> ...properly put them in a lane that wouldn't cause problems. But I'm pretty safe. He can't use Sarad on me because has, I have no revealed cards in my hand, which is unfortunate for him. I'm going to go with the last right here. It's pretty good value. The reason why I didn't play Zoltan is I'm afraid of uh, Letho. So I got him to use his Letho on his side of the board as opposed to my side of the board. Sheldon Skaggs acts, acts as a Igni shield properly there. And my opponent does not predict the bamboozle and forfeits. And my game freezes. And I have to restart. Okay. I lost a game against dwarves. And I need help with the dwarf matchup. But this is my game against Dagon. Dagon is my final boss. I was contemplating whether or not to play Elven Mercenary there. I decided to go with the uh, Dragoon instead bait out a fiend. I want to get out as I want to bait out as much weather as possible. Now if he has a last rate here it would be pretty bad. Now I'm going to bait out the weather. Um, now I'm going to clear out the weather. Okay. Arguably I shouldn't be clearing the weather here but I do it anyways. Okay, I got a nice clean lacerate, if I so choose to use it. Now, gonna pull all these stuff out of the uh, range row. My opponent doesn't understand how Morin works and cost him the game. <laughs> they changed the unicorn to be silver, so now it gets hit. He could have just played that card and it would have been protected from Morin. Huh. Decide to play this round, uh... And see if I can bait out other things, but it might have been a dumb idea. Because he has all these cards. I just assumed the fewer cards he goes into the final round with, the better, but it's actually worse that I did this in some respects. Now I'm going to use my Jedi mind tricks and see if I can get him to pass, but wasn't successful. It would have been funny if I if I got in him too, but 
I got a super powerful hand. 24 points. Let's see if he can beat that. Nope. I win. And I rank up. I'm not rank 18. I'm rank 17. Game's bugged. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Summertime and the ranking is easy. Scoia are jumping and the infantry are high. Oh, your mama's strong and your da is good looking. Hush, little Siri, don't you die.